Okay, Rina, go ahead with your introduction first. Tell me Thank about yourself. You. Thank you, ma'am, for giving me the opportunity to introduce myself. I'm Reena Saini. I'm from Panipat, Haryana. I did my schooling from Delhi Public School, Panipat Refinery. Thereafter, I did my B.Tech in Electrical Engineering from NIT Kurukshetra in 2021. My B.Tech project was dedicated to wind energy forecasting using machine learning. And in 2020, I underwent industrial training at Panipat Thermal Power Station. Ma'am, my hobbies are painting and playing Sudoku, and recently I've taken up reading non-fiction books. Ma'am, my aim is to be a responsible citizen, to contribute positively to the society and towards national development. That would be all about me. So, Rina, you have done your graduation in twenty twenty one, right? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I would like to know, like, after graduation, you have not pursued your post graduation, right? Yes, ma'am. Why not PG? You have gone through that. Ma'am, actually, my decision to not pursue M Tech was uh, basically it was originated from my commitment to prepare for the PSUs and GATE exam. Actually, I was determined to pursue my career in a public sector because it would better align with my career goals. Uh, so I believe it was a short term sacrifice for my long term uh, career growth. Okay, so why not you? Do, you have not taken the campus placement, Evan, right? Yes, ma'am. So, what was the reason of the campus placement, ma'am? Actually, in two thousand and twenty, pandemic happened, so the campus placements were uh, not so good, and uh, they were mostly in non-technical areas. And uh, I wanted to pursue my career in more electrical engineering in the energy sector. So, I decided to prepare for the uh, public sector examinations. That's fine, but then don't you feel that there is a gap of I think three years approximately, right? And yes. you might have got good exposure towards the private sector. Private से आपको exposure मिलता आप कुछ सीख के आते हैं हमारे पास. Then you could have come to the PSU. Yes, ma'am, I could have taken up the private opportunities, but uh, ma'am, I believe that uh, dedicating my full time and efforts to the preparation uh, would uh, enhance my chance uh, exam success. Enhance my uh, chance of a success in the exam, and I believe that uh, whenever I'll uh, be uh, joining the workforce, I will be fully equipped with the technical knowledge. Although, as an experienced uh, ex uh, individual, I would have come uh, with a different skill set. But I believe that uh, with a fresher, I can come with a fresher perspective, and uh, my hunger to survive in the industry would make me an asset for the company. See, Rina. One thing is that PSUs in private they have their own benefits. They have their own cons and cons, right? So, yes, can you just compare PSU versus private for me? Uh, ma'am, uh, I believe that uh, PSU offer a better work-life balance and a structured and uh, comprehensive uh, training programs for the individual to grow both uh, professionally and personally. Also, uh, PSUs, uh, particularly in energy sector, contribute toward the national uh, development. Okay. Ah, uh, can you just tell me about your strengths and weaknesses? Ma'am, my strength is uh, that whatever I do, I do it with a positive attitude. So it uh, keeps me self motivated and creates an uplifting environment uh, around me. Also, ma'am, I believe that I'm a uh, resilient. So even after failing, fa uh, facing failures, I uh, come back. Okay. So you consider yourself as a resilient soul. What's your weakness? You told. Uh, ma'am, my weakness is ma'am. Uh, ma'am, I believe my weakness is my fluency in uh, English. Whenever I try to speak in English, I become a little nervous. So I'm trying to overcome it by uh, talking with my friends and uh, by doing group discussion in English. That's fine, Reena. One thing I would like to comprehend is you told about the work-life balance in a PSU, which you get right. But yes. do you know that the chairman who is sitting right now with us, he has to work, be available seven days and twenty-four hours a week. Right, twenty-four hours a day and seven days availability is there, and they are not even living with their family. How do you feel that there's a work-life balance? Uh, ma'am, I, uh, ma'am, I know, ma'am, I value the work-life balance, but I also uh, appreciate the importance of flexibility when the time comes to meet the deadlines of the organization. So uh, I believe that we should also work whenever it is needed to uh, achieve the goals of the company and contribute towards the success of the company. Okay, what has been the best day of your life since last? I would say so many years since last two three years. If you have to tell me any good uh, achievement of yours or something positive about you, what would you tell? 
Ma'am, uh, since last year I've been in a rigorous preparation mode and I've constantly faced failures after failures in uh, various exams. But uh, recently, after all my hard work, I've secured uh, All India All India Rank 67 in uh, Gate Electrical and All India Rank 24 in Instrumentation. So I believe the result day was the best uh, for me because my all my hard work paid off. And I'm happy that at least I could make it to the PSU interview. That's great. Uh, what's your plan B, Rina? If you're not selected today, what's your plan B? Uh, Ma'am, uh, if I'm not selected, then I believe that uh, this uh, rejection will be a redirection for me in uh, other domain and uh, I might uh, pursue MTech or uh, I might uh, keep on working hard because I uh, believe not to give up on my dream so easily. Which is the city that you come from? Panipat? Panipat, yes ma'am. So it's famous for the battle? Yes ma'am, it is famous for the three battles of the Panipat. Can you tell me the years in which it taken uh, place? Oh, ma'am, I uh, do not recall the years. Actually, the first battle was uh, between the Mughal Emperor uh, Babur and uh, 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 and the Delhi Sultanate and the second battle was uh, between uh, the grandson of Babur uh, Akbar and uh, between the uh, 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 the King Hemu and the third battle was between the Marathas and Afghan. There is also a famous uh, movie about uh, uh, Panipat which is around the third battle of uh, Panipat. How comfortable are you in relocation Reena? Ma'am, I'm open to relocation and traveling for work because it will help me to expand my horizon and to uh, develop in different uh, environments. So what about the food and language barriers you are going to accommodate with the passage of time? Like, How would you handle that? Ma'am, I don't uh, perceive it as a barrier for me. It is an opportunity as I will get to uh, eat uh, the different uh, varieties of uh, food and also I can uh, I know how to cook and uh, language also I can uh, learn for uh, better communication. So it is not a so, barrier for me. Don't you think that language at the very initial stage can't be learned? Uh, sorry ma'am? Language we cannot learn very easily. At the very initial stage you cannot learn it out. Ma'am, so ma yeah, yeah, go ahead. Ma'am, uh, initially, actually, I can use the technology as uh, as nowadays we have AI and uh, softwares to uh, translate the language. And uh, with passage of uh, time, with uh, communicating with the people around me, then I can learn. So initially, I can use the technology at hand. Okay, fine. See, Rina, uh, it was, I wouldn't say that very good, but yeah, it was more than average. Your interaction was there. Though you're making some kind of a mistakes, like very biggest mistake is work-life balance. That's a big wrong word to be used in an interview. Two things which I always say to students not to use is one is your work-life balance. Another is your um, job security. These things you should never stay, uh, stay in any interview, right? Because you are more focused about your passion. You're more so, uh, focused about the job satisfaction, which you are going to get while working in the for the welfare of your country, while contributing towards the economy of the country, by working for the academic interest, by the kind of projects you're going to get. These are the things that are more important, not the work-life balance. Because this was the exact thing which was mentioned by a student. I always tell the students not to mention it because this has been done and the person in the panel, they told it out, what is work-life balance for us? We are not living with our family and you call it at work-life balance. So that's not a right one. Work culture is the right word. Okay, you're impressed with the work culture. Now, in the introduction, also, I would say that hobbies you can even exclude it out. It's Sudoku and I think painting you mentioned. So, not very different one, but you can mention, you can always end your introduction the line where you think that your interviewer should ask you a question in, right? So, it should be in that direction. It could be like, Good morning, ma'am. I'm Reena. I come from city. You don't have to mention your schooling, DPS, nothing and that's not related, right? Mm -hmm. Ma'am, actually, I've not so Good morning, ma'am. I am Reena. So Coming to one. I'll yes, tell you something which you can mention in a better way, right? Uh, good morning, ma'am. I am Reena. I come from City Panepa. Coming to my academics, I have done my graduation from so and so university in the stream of this, right? Uh, during my academic uh, academic curriculum, I've done multiple projects, and the major project which I've done was based on wind energy and all that. My area of expertise or my area, area of interest lies in, you can talk about two particular technical domains, which you are very strong in. You can mention it so that whether your technical round starts over there. Clear? Yeah? So can any I mention subject? the subjects uh, on which I'm confident? 
and yeah, the yeah, yeah. That's, what, that's what i'm asking that's what i'm saying if technical subject something whatever you feel that is a very core expertise of yours which you can answer very nice you can mention that okay and then you can say yeah about our internship program or your industrial training something like that so always mention all those things in interview which you feel that yes these are very very important if you have to mention something your about your hobbies it will be ma'am to balance my academic and physical activities really well or you can say to balance my physical and mental peace i practice some co curricular activities and these are painting whatever is it like doing some kind of so do co ठीक है, so lines, the choice of words could be improved and your introduction can be very very nice because you're you're good in your speaking skills, you're not bad in your speaking skills. If you improvise it out, so you will be more in that. I think it will be a cherry on the cake. So obviously, if you're going good, so at least practice some good words. Okay, very first thing. Second it is like if I say is why not PG? Uh, why not post graduation? So it is like some higher education is my goal. It was never like I don't want to pursue higher education, but I was more focused on uh, in terms of financial stability. Or you can say is that providing exposure to my theoretical knowledge. Whatever you have learned in your bachelor's, you wanted an exposure, practical exposure towards that. That is why you are aiming towards a job right now. Okay, why you did not take campus placement, ma'am? I want to devote myself uh, because this was a question which was asked in IOCL. I'm comparing all the PSCs in IOCL. The student took a gap of one and a half year, and the person told in the PSU that you are not pre preparing for any civil services. You could have, uh, I think, um, done any private job and side by side, you could have prepared for us also. So you are not uh, doing something different that you could not even take the campus placement. So it will be like, uh, ma'am, I was completely dedicated towards PSU. Because I have uh, seen some kind of orientation program or apprentice training. आपने किसी friend ने लगाई थी वहाँ पे कुछ भी ऐसा, ठीक है? So you were all devotee that I wanted to go in the oil sector only. Why oil sector? Because it is enriching the economy of our country in a big run. Oil has entered into different domains. अब oil sector एक sector नहीं रहा है, बहुत domains में enter रहा है. कल को IOCL में, HPCL में job निकलती है, जाओगे उस sector में. तो ये सारे questions के लिए prepare रहना है हमें. मैंने आज आपको बहुत basic questions दिए हैं, not tough questions. ठीक है, the tough questions come is like suppose you're selected to the arena in oil India. Tomorrow you get a job or you get an offer for an uh, IOCL. Would you move? And if not, why? Because everyone knows that IOCL is a big domain. It's a big maharatna. आप move करोगे कि नहीं करोगे? ठीक है? तो ये question exactly पूछा गया है. HPCL वाले बच्चों से IOCL का पूछा गया है. आपसे मैं हर तरह के question को imagine कर रही हूँ कि पूछा जाए तो you should be brainstorming कि मैंने क्या बोलना है. क्योंकि आपकी main गलती क्या होती है? आपका content सही नहीं जा रहा. 